February is American Heart Month and World Pulses Day is February 10th. And so we are going to be talking about a way for you to incorporate these into an important plant-based part of your diet. So today, registered dietitian Sarah Nikipour from Mercy Health is here to explain more about pulses um, and the impact that they have on your heart health and ways to work them into family meals. So a lot of times when you see them, they're sort of dried like this and you wonder, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> what are they? Yeah, so pulses are the edible seeds um, in the legume family. So we have beans and peas and lentils, um, and those are all different kinds. They're used all over the world in all different cultures. Um, and they're an affordable protein. Um, they supply protein and fiber, and they're a great source of um, iron. So it's a good way to eat something for, it's good for your heart. Right, and the nice thing about them too is that because they're dried, they last for a real long time. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, and they're very um, affordable, and they're also, assist, they support sustainable agriculture. So we're reducing our carbon footprint on the world. Um, you got some recipes we can make with them, right? We sure do. These are roasted chickpeas. Okay. And um, those I just put in the oven with a bunch of spices for um, 400 degrees for about 30 minutes, and they get really hard and crunchy. They're kind of fun to eat. They're a nice snack. And this is a multi-bean soup that has some turkey sausage in it and some vegetables. Um, these are lentil cakes. Oh, okay. They're made with yellow lentils and brown rice and they bake in the oven, and this roasted red pepper sauce is amazing. Wow, like, so that, just those two <laughs> ingredients, that's it? Yep, wow. well, it has a few other things Okay, in there some too. spices and stuff to make it, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think there's a little bit of uh, lemon juice and mm -hmm. things to hold it together. These are British baked beans. They're made with tomatoes, um, and they have also some uh, apple balsamic vinegar. Okay. And some brown sugar. And I slow cook them on the stove for quite a while. Yeah, when you say quite a while, I mean, that's the one thing I think that scares people away mm -hmm. with pulses is the fact that you look at this dried and you think, wow. I mean, <laughs> because this little white jar here is actually these. Yes. So you think, how long is it going to take for them? Whenever I want it, my husband loves um, uh, bean soup. And I always think, oh my gosh, how long is it going to take me to soak them overnight? Mm -hmm. That's kind of a process. So you can either, if you buy them this way, you want to soak them overnight. Um, and then it will take probably an hour or so. But I think this recipe would actually work really well in the crock pot as well. With just the dried beans? You're going to want to make sure you're putting enough water in there so that as it cooks throughout the day that it would soak it up. Um, otherwise, you can start with canned beans, which mm -hmm. are really convenient. Um, and then you don't need to do all the extra water right. to rehydrate. So, But a nice crock pot meal, though, for mm -hmm. you, too. For sure. Get home. And these are actually two different kinds of hummus. We have black bean hummus and a garbanzo bean hummus that actually I snuck some beets into. So I took this to a Super Bowl party last week and Big the, hit. The, beet, the beet hummus actually won. Well, <laughs> so. because it has the beets have that, you know, they have a lot of sugar in them and a lot mm -hmm. of flavor that people don't think about when you combine them with other foods, you know, how they enhance that. So exactly. and also you're getting tons of fiber when you're eating all of these as well. Yes, you are. All right. Keeping your heart healthy. Certainly are. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, you can find more information on our website, 13onyourside.com. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.